Hey guys, this is the second game YouTube channel, and today we again have a very good leak. So, Vivo's Snapdragon 888 powered device running Origin OS hits Geekbench. At the 2020 Snapdragon Technology Summit held yesterday, Qualcomm officially unveiled their latest Snapdragon 888 platform built on TMC's TSMC's 5 nanometer process. The processor will power the next generation of flagship smartphones. The processor equally provides a fully integrated 5G modem. Xiaomi CEO did confirm that the brand will be the first to launch the Snapdragon 888 powered model which will be the Mi 11 expected in January 2021. Vivo also indicated that it will also release a flagship with this new chipset in the first half of 2021. So the Vivo model powered by the Snapdragon 888 has been spotted on the Geekbench database. The model appears to be the V2056A and is powered by the Snapdragon 888 listed by its codename Lahaina. The device runs on Android 11 which will definitely have an overlay of Vivo's custom origin OS which is only running Android 11. The device will also have 11 gigs of RAM and 11 gigs of RAM is like a very odd number so let's round it off to 12 gigs of RAM. The Snapdragon 888 powered Vivo device is the first device to appear on the benchmark database. As for the benchmark score, the Snapdragon 888 device on this Vivo device has scored a single test score of 1135 points and on the multi score it has performed 3681 points this is currently the highest score among the leaked engineering machines the score almost doubles those of the snapdragon 865 powered model both on the single and multi score tests at the snapdragon technology summit vivo executive had told that the vivo brand and the iq brand will soon launch the phone equipped with the new Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 5G platform. With the blessing of the Snapdragon 888, the flagship products of the Vivo and IQ will also bring in the consumer's better image capabilities and photography capabilities, a more powerful gaming experience as well as high speed and convenient 5G connections and more intelligence functions. So this is what we have for today guys. So subscribe our channel, we make daily tech videos and what do you think about this SD888? Why did Qualcomm even release it and made it their flagship choice instead of the snapdragon 875 tell me in the comments stay tuned for more updates thank you